Everyone thinks as you get older, you get wiser, but that kind of doesn't happen. Keep watching to find out what happens as you head to the fourth decade of your life. Hey, I'm Kyla Denagno, and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, Confessions of a 40-Year-Old Fuck-Up. The book was written by Alexandria Potter. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature, situation, comedy. This book was so cute. I actually can't even find it in print. I listened to this on audiobook and I absolutely enjoyed it. Now I will say this, I definitely thought this was a non-fiction book, right? I spend a lot of time reading fiction and non-fiction. I like to switch up parts of my brain and challenge myself with all kinds of different things. But I really thought this was a non-fiction book because last year I read a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and I thought this was gonna be in the same vein as that. But it wasn't, <laughs> but it was still really cute. So the book is about an unlikely friendship and that was one of my favorite things. But there was a really funny part in the book where Nail says, I just wanna have a life that is not based on perfect Instagram posts. And that was pretty much everything that people are looking for in life right now. Right, in 2023, people are all about social media, posting, content right you're watching this video right now because i recorded it to make a video so that you can watch it and enjoy and share with me and all the other people who like books and so content is a really big part of a lot of people's lives my life your life if you're you know you're watching this right now <laughs> and so she's like i just don't want the pressure of having this perfect instagram life and i found that to be so compelling because nell is almost 40 Shouldn't you not care? No, you always care. You will always wonder what somebody else is thinking of you, even if it's just you wondering how you feel about you. <laughs> You're gonna wonder how you feel about stuff. That's just, it's human nature. And so Nell has this unlikely friendship. She decides that she wants to start a podcast. And as she's podcasting, she is just recording it. She doesn't expect anyone to ever listen. And one day she goes to a party and people are talking about how much they enjoy this podcast. Oh my God, you should listen. Oh, this lady is so funny. They're talking about her, right? And so it's really funny that she's trying to avoid having this perfect life, but she ends up having a life where she's creating content, but it's still compelling to people's lives. It just isn't on display in the way that an Instagram post would be, right? She's not spending all this money in marketing. She's not posting herself with her microphone and doing all of this stuff just to get the likes. And people are still listening to it. People are still sharing it. And so I thought it was really funny that none of her friends recognized her voice. <laughs> they're listening to the podcast, they're sharing it with other people. They're like, man, this person really gets me. And they just didn't even think that Nell had it in her to do something this wild and crazy and brand new, like start a podcast. And here she is rocking the world. <laughs> so that was really key to me, especially because I have a podcast. I'm almost 40. I create content and I was like, I wasn't expecting to have so many similarities when I was reading the book, but it was really great because you do create stuff and yes, you create it for yourself, but you would like for other people to at least see it. Or even if you look at it and you're like, uh, next, right? You create it because you want to put your own voice out there. If somebody else is watching and enjoying it with you, it's a bonus, but you do create because you expect someone to listen to it. That's why you release it, right? It's not just a regular journal that you keep at home. So this book was very unexpected, but a very enjoyable read. Would I reread this book? Probably not. Just because, again, I picked it up and I was really expecting it to be a nonfiction book, so my head was already in a different space. And so, no, I wouldn't pick it up. It was, it was a good story, but it was nothing that I would need to revisit. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me today as we discuss the book, Confessions of a 40-Year-Old Fuck-Up. Let me know how you feel about having a perfect Instagram life, how you feel about being perfect on Twitter, how you feel about posting any content, like how do you feel about the fact that content is so prevalent in some of our lives? And if you're not that interested in content, you found this on a fluke on Google, I appreciate you. <laughs> and send me a comment too. Let me know if you liked the video, how you feel about audiobooks. And I will talk to you guys next time on Kyla's Reading Day.